This is a new and improved pulse oximeter circuit with an aim at making a heartbeat detector using light rather than an ECG type measuring of electrical signal. Instead, this measures how blood absorbs light as it goes through your finger. And that signal is amplified here and output to an oscilloscope. The neat thing about this project is that I designed it all to work with a single chip. And this is a very inexpensive chip. It's a quad operational amplifier. It's an LM324. And before we go into how it's going to work, I'm going to show you a little bit about the background of the circuit. The first thing that I want to talk about is that we are not driving the amplifier like it's often driven, where we have plus a certain voltage and minus voltage. Instead, we generate a virtual ground. And this makes it a little bit easier for us because we don't have to worry about plus and minus voltages. We can just use something like plus 12 volts and 0 volts as opposed to plus 12 volts and negative 12 volts, which starts to get a little bit annoying sometimes. Uh, to make a virtual ground, we use this current source here, which is a uh, voltage divider generating about 6 volts, and the output is a virtual ground. So we call 6 volts our ground, 0 volts are like our negative 6 volts, and 12 volts is like our plus 6 volts. So with that out of the way, we get the input from our signal, and it goes through an amplifier, a filter and then another amplifier with another filter. Um, so what signal are we amplifying? Well, we are shining a red light through one side of my finger. This would represent where my finger goes. Red light comes in from here, goes through my finger, and blood absorbs it differently depending on how much blood is in my finger and also how oxygenated it is. I won't get into the details of that, but uh, the phototransistor here changes its conductivity based upon how much light it sees. So as the blood fluctuates through my finger up and down, the amount of current going in this direction goes up and down, and the voltage at this point goes up and down. It's an extremely small degree of voltage change, though, so we have to amplify it significantly, hence the whole project. Um, this section here is designed on this clothespin. It works pretty well. I took off the metal piece because I didn't want to pitch too hard, but it seems to do a fine job. I can put my finger on one side. The red light is emitted from the emitter, and it goes to the sensor. And then it goes into this board. Um, the only chip is the LM324, and that should be everything there. Um, so it comes in. The first thing that happens is it gets decoupled. That removes the DC component, and that's through a 0.22 microfarad capacitor. Uh, have a high gain filter stage, and then we have a rudimentary low pass filter. It's just a variable resistor and a capacitor. And the variable resistor is here, and I can turn the resistor while I look at the oscilloscope, and I adjust it until my heartbeat is still there, but the 60 hertz AC noise is gone, or at least dramatically reduced. Uh, then we have a unity gain current source, and then it goes through a 10x voltage amplifier with a little bit of low pass filtering, and then it collects the output. The neat thing about this circuit is I designed it to work with this phototransistor, which everything here, start to finish, is extremely inexpensive. Um, and the output is very clean. It has very little 60 hertz noise, but it has a tremendous voltage swing with respect to your heartbeat. So to show you what I mean, I have the output graphed on my oscilloscope, and this is the device. I collect the output here, and this pin is going into my oscilloscope. But to show you where I'm looking right now, uh, this is my power supply I'm using. When it's at 0 volts, it's at the bottom, and when I move it to 12 volts, see if I can get to touch. <laughs> I should have practiced. That's 12 volts there. Okay, so when I touch it to 12 volts, it goes to the top of the screen. So that's 0 volts and 12 volts. So top to bottom, it's 12 volts. Now I plug this in the output of the board, and I put this in line and it takes just a fraction of a second to equilibrate, that's the output. We get a full, probably 10 volt swing on that. And there's a very relatively small amount of 60 hertz noise in there. The biggest problem with these simple amplifier circuits is the noise you get from 60 hertz wiring in the wall. But as you can see, it's working pretty well. Now the next steps involve taking this signal and feeding it into a microcontroller for further processing. So here's another thing that's pretty neat to see. If you look closely, this isn't my pulse 
as we're used to seeing it with the pulse oximeter. This is actually an ECG, an electrocardiogram, where it's amplifying the electrical potential across the surface of my skin. Um, I have little silver chloride sticky electrodes which attach through gator clips and then go to this device here. I took the pins out that normally go to the pulse oximeter so uh, and I also removed a little jumper here so let's directly access the pins that go to the input. Again this is the same circuit, same thing as before no changes, the only difference is that I did zoom in uh, magnification if you look here this is the vertical axis and it looks like each square is 0.2 volts so the signals are significantly smaller than what we saw with the pulse oximeter but clearly we have an ECG if the signal were sent to a computer, maybe through the sound card or something the noise seen there that causes it to be a vertical bar instead of a dot is a very clear 60 hertz sine wave in fact if I zoom it in, yeah you can see that's 60 hertz sine wave there so that would be really easy to remove spectrally with some pretty sharp spectral filters uh, but again this device is just going straight to little sticky pads on my chest and it seems to be doing a pretty good job serving as an ECG so that's another possible future direction to go with this project